Welcome to Unit 2. In Unit 1, we discussed OER and copyright. In this unit, we'll be looking at the copyright and intellectual property and how they are related. Let's take a look at the definitions. What is intellectual property? According to World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, intellectual property refers to the creation of the mind, such as invention, literary, artistic work, designs, and symbols, names, images used in commerce. It is a blanket term for a variety of assets created by the mind otherwise classified as intangible property. The right to the intellectual property can be claimed exclusively by the creator or recipient of ownership transferred and covers the expression of an idea rather than the idea itself. The intellectual property connotes all forms of copyright, inventions in all fields of human endeavor, industrial designs, and trademark, which include service marks and brand names. Intellectual property law includes ways and creative expression of the intellect that, that carries commercial and moral value. There are several intellectual property laws, which includes trademark, patents, industrial designs, and of course, copyright. However, intellectual property can be divided into two branches, industrial property and copyright. Examples of an industrial property are patents for inventions, industrial designs, trademarks, and geographical indications. Examples of copyright are literally and artistic work. What is the difference between copyright, patent, and trademark? It would be nice for us to have a, a distinct definition and explanation for these three different laws. The table on your screen shows the difference in these various laws. Copyright, patent, and trademark. As you can see on your screen, what is protected under copyright? Uh, copyright as intellectual property protection. Intellectual property is protected by law specific to the expression of an idea. Copyright is the law specific to the expression of ideas in visual or audio form, unlike a trademark that indicates a specific item or design is protected. Copyright covers a different expression of thought. The term copyright contains within the meaning of this term the right to copy. Copyright is anything written, photographed, drawn, painted, otherwise produced as an audible written or visual piece of intellectual property. Of course, we've defined this earlier. So let's see how we can clearly identify and differentiate the kinds of intellectual property. Here, we'll be looking at different kinds of intellectual properties and how we can distinguish them from each other. As you can see on your screen, there are four different logos here. Of course, we know what this, this means. This is the copyright logo, which um, means all rights reserved. And also the TM, this is a trademark logo also, but also it means that that particular trademark is not registered. Then the SM, the SM is um, a service mark logo. That's what, it, that's what this logo means. Then the R means a registered trademark. Let's further look at the definitions. Of course, this is the registered trademark, unregistered trademark, and unregistered service mark. An unregistered trademark or common law mark is essentially the same thing as a registered trademark, except that the owner did not register the mark with the National Patent and Trademark Regulators. So it means it's not registered. Then the registered trademark symbol is, is an R, as you can see here, is a typographic symbol that provides notice that the preceding word or symbol is a trademark or service mark that has been registered with a national trademark office. 
So what that means is that you can also have a, a service uh, mark that is registered with this sign. An unregistered trademark or common law trademark is an enforceable mark created by a business or individual to signify or distinguish a product or service. It, it still doesn't mean that if it's not registered, that you can't use it. You know, um, it's, still, it's still a common law trademark and it's an enforceable mark created by the business or an individual to signify or distinguish their product. So that actually helps them in distinguishing that particular product from others. You know, as you can see on your screen, we have different logos here. But of course, I must tell you today that not all these logos and trademarks are registered. By the time you go deeper, you'll find out that some of them are just service trademarks that just became an household name but are not registered. You know, so in Unit 3, We'll be looking at OER, where we will we'll be talking about the importance of OER. So, um, hope to see you in Unit 3. Thank you, and see you soon.